good morning guys today is um, April 27th and um, I'm gonna make this review about ethereum and and I think ethereum is actually one of the most bullish coin actually in the market ethereum is literally doing its own thing I'm gonna start the review on the weekly time frame <coughs> So we did have this uptrend on RSI and then we did um, go through it. So um, I was expecting to this to keep going down, but there's the thing. We went back over this. Now this is this sign right there on RSI is extremely bullish. By extremely bullish, this thing right there. All right. This is extremely bullish, like mega bullish sign. There's another sign that just happened yesterday. Um, one thing I realized I've been on the community, uh, virtual bacon, is that most people are using MACD. Okay, so you need to make sure that you are using uh, the. We guys are using the same one. All right. Uh, <coughs> sorry so this is still a correction now here's the thing this is to ground when it's red is clearly telling you that every single day the bears they are winning the 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 trading days in term of um, supplying ethereum but the price is still maintained at the same level now we have different type of correction many other coin they did bigger correction you know Bitcoin did 30% and then some of them did a little bit deeper but this is a flat correction because not every correction are supposed to give a dip now this type of correction means that um, people that buy ethereum for ethereum intrinsic value are not really selling and short seller they just not touching it and i think i've already said that now because of that um we are looking for an entry and i did told you about the 55.99 and you're not supposed to chase that thing you will obviously have to wait on a one, on one hour time frame and just like i told you using this um fibonacci now uh one thing i did not explain about that that that's a little bit more risky i used to do it but i used to do it especially when i used to do um day trades is when you have a, a clear i try to show you guys when you have this switcher right there and then you place a line right over it let me show you here white over the cross okay sorry and um, delete. Uh, okay and then you go in a five minute the reason why I didn't talk about this yesterday I guess it was um, was it was past it was too late to talk about this yesterday now when you place this line this line is from the 5599 cross on the one hour time frame all right and then after that we're gonna do is um now this type of thing is for the third part of my class i'm not supposed to talk about this now but um since we were looking for an entry and we didn't get it yet so this is what we're gonna do all right so this is um w w you place two lines Usually, um, this line is supposed to be blue, but this is just for uh, learning purposes for now. And then you're gonna go in a five minute time frame, okay? And then, in the five minute time frame, you're gonna look for any 55.99, another one, and you take this trade um, on a Fibonacci. There's many way to do it. You can use a Fibonacci tool, or you can look for a diversion or diversion or an extreme RSI on um, five minute but it's supposed to be 
after this red line now the second red line we place this one right there is supposed to be a stop loss and that's the reason why I'm telling you this 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 entry strategy is a little bit more risky because you will almost always enter a little bit too high and your stop loss will be very low so I prefer using a Fibonacci tool on a one hour time frame just to catch an eventual pullback because I think we're gonna have an eventual pullback but the other way to do it just like I show you is to place this line and look for either another 55.99 on a five minute time frame or an oversold RSI after this line not before now um, you're gonna have to use uh, money management that fits your portfolio and an exposition that will not put you at risk really depends the condition of your leverage and kind of stuff but um, then one of the reason why I didn't want to talk about this because like I said that's that's a very advanced way of doing it and it's way more risky since we as um, swing traders we plan to stay overnight so that would be a way to do it um, all right that's it that's it for now for when it comes to me since this entry is not it's like it's way too late to do it right now I am still I am still trying to enter like this and orders are 38 50 and 61 and I'm gonna have to wait you know this is what we have to do for now now uh, you should not be tracing the price if you buy somewhere here that will probably be a very bad idea you obviously have to wait for small pullback 38 50 61 and then we'll ride it all the way up now the other thing is when you use MACD and you remove those signal this MACD is a little bit more sensitive okay on a daily time frame on daily time frame you have uh, what I call uh, a double cross because what happened is that usually when Ma when Mike did cross you have a cross and then it passed over the it passed over the histogram and and it flip size for example and this is supposed to be in the Mike D class but as as the point when this happened usually some people try to sell it and then when it crosses back at a very positive point of the MACD time frame this thing right there is a very bullish sign usually it happens a little bit before um, a little bit before a major run this thing so I have many reasons to believe that this is gonna keep going down but we are not to chase this pump even if it's happening and we like it because um, after the correction I mean Ethereum is literally working out this resistance eventually it will break it but we still have to wait for a small pullback to enter all right so um, when it comes to me I'm still having open position somewhere around um somewhere around here i did bought somewhere around here i'm still holding half of my position so it's fine the reason why i'm trying to enter is because i want to lift off my position just to make it a little bit more profitable all right guys that's it for ethereum and have a good one if you have any question you can join me on virtual bacon and you'll be able to see all my trade in real time thank you bye